Good morning, guys. Well, today I got something a little different from you, for you. Not a BMW, not a Chevy. You got a Ford 7.3 diesel. So I've already been in this thing one time. I did the valve cover gasket, glow plugs, and the harness, obviously, because it's part of the gasket. But a customer did not supply me with the replacement pigtail for the engine side of the harness, which I told him it needed. So now I'm doing it a second time around. Or now I'm in this truck the second time around. It's not my fault. I told him to. He didn't want to buy it. So now he's paying me to do the job twice. Kind of. I mean, uh, it is what it is. I got a glow plug relay as well. Uh, don't think the glow, glow plug module is bad. I've only had to replace one of those ever. Not to say they don't go bad. I know people have them go bad all the time. But uh, in our climate, it's cold so we get like 29, 28 degrees sometimes on a rare occasion. Uh, they just don't go bad very often. Usually it's the harness and the glow plug harness and the glow plugs themselves. So this should fix it. I'll uh, give you an update when I finish this guy up. Good morning guys well it's day two after finishing that up i didn't film an outro to that while i had the truck here um, after i finished up with the glow plug harnesses and the glow plug relay i hooked the scanner up to it cleared the check engine light verified operation of glow plugs and the glow plug module um, my scanner tells me when you command them on tells you how long they stay on once they're commanded everything seemed good uh, this morning I got a text. He said that the glow plug monitoring code is back on. I uh, don't know what to do next. I'm, I'm going to try and uh, ohm out the glow plug module, see what pins do what, and see if I can uh, get that sorted out before throwing a $150, $200 module at it. Try and save him some money. I mean, he just bought this truck, so... The condition of the truck was questionable to begin with. He got it for really cheap, like 
extremely cheap for what they're going for right now. So I was kind of questioning that from the get-go when he told me he was going to buy the truck. I was like, hey, man, this seems too good to be true. Like, maybe you might want to pass on this one because here in California, the seller is supposed to be responsible for smog. And that's kind of what the dude was getting the good deal about is because he was going to be responsible for smog. And now we're here. Um, I'm not too sure. I've got a buddy at Ford that I used to work with about 10 years ago. I'm going to give him a call, see if he's got any insight on this because all the normal stuff that goes wrong on those things I've replaced. Uh, glow plug modules, like I said before, I've never replaced them. Or I've replaced one. So I, I just, I have a hard time replacing a $150, $200 module for no reason. But I mean, given everything else I've done the truck already, I'm probably going to have to replace that. So, uh, thanks for watching guys. If you like this, please like subscribe, share, whatever, all that stuff. Have a good one.